Hey everybody, it's Lori Guest here with a fantastic customer service lesson from my July on the road experiences. I was giving an event a few weeks ago where I was the after luncheon speaker. I arrived at the room about an hour before everybody. I was the only one there. I took a seat, started to get my head in the game a little bit, and the service team came out and started pre-setting the meal. The salads, the silverware, and of course the desserts. Now, the dessert was a layered parfait, and at the top was a dollop of whipped cream and then a little piece of garnish like you see in this picture here. And they had put most of them out when the head server came out and yelled at the top of his lungs, hey everybody, remember, whip it three, whip it three. I had no idea what he was talking about, so when they got to my table, I said to him, can I ask what whip it three means? He said, no, whip at three. He then reached over and took my dessert dish and he turned it a quarter of a turn so that the whip was at three o'clock on a dial. Look at the difference with this second picture. With the garnish to the right, it all looks more visually appealing. Now here's what's interesting. Nobody in that room noticed which way their dessert was sitting, but it was that quarter turn that made a difference in the overall appearance. And that was true of everything that they set down, from every fork to napkin to basket of rolls. So when I started the program, I explained the long version of this story to the audience, and I said, you guys didn't care where your dessert was sitting. It was also an entire room filled with men. I don't think they cared. But my point is, is that every quarter turn adds up to make your entire experience a good one and to make the evaluations for the meeting a good one. So my question for you for July is, do you have whip at three? And what needs a quarter turn in your organization? Over and out for now, see you back after August is behind me.